Do you know the difference between active and passive fire protection? Here's a two minute overview of the main differences. Let's roll the intro. In basic terms, active fire protection is about detecting, stopping and escaping fire, whereas passive fire protection means containing the fire and preventing it from spreading further. Active fire protection, sometimes known as AFP, consists of fire protection components that require activation to work. The action might be manual, in the case of fire extinguishers, or automatic, for example sprinkler systems and smoke ventilation systems. In the case of automatic activation, the action is triggered by some sort of alert or signal for example from a fire alarm system. There are many different types of active fire protection, including emergency escape lighting, fire alarm systems, wet and dry risers and much more. Passive fire protection or PFP is another fundamental component of fire protection and its role has been greatly highlighted since the Grenfell tragedy. Despite its name, passive fire protection is always working. It's a set of components designed to compartmentalize a building in order to keep the fire from spreading. It requires no action to work. Passive fire protection systems stop fires from spreading and give people time to escape. Examples of passive fire protection include fire resistant walls and floors, fire stopping, fire doors and fire dampers. It's important to point out that passive fire protection does not mean that you can just set it up and forget about it. Regular testing and ongoing maintenance are still equally important. Finally, when you're designing or maintaining a building, there is never a choice between active and passive systems. Both systems perform fundamentally different tasks that are equally important and must be used together to result in a safe building. If you'd like to learn more about active or passive fire protection systems, drop me a comment below, I'll do my best to help and I'll also tag in my fire safety contacts who'll be able to give you further advice. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.